Lucas! How long are you gonna sleep? Get up so we can play! Get up already! The dragons brought their babies over! They're really cute! Hurry up! Alright, everybody, welcome to a series that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time, and that is Mother 3. So, first off, I will say this is my favorite of all the Mother games or Earthbound games, whatever you want to refer to them as. This is my absolute favorite. Even though my mascot is Ness, I just absolutely love Mother 3. I love the emotion this game can convey, and it is easily one of my favorite games of all time. Enough about that, um, I guess I may as well explain how this series is going to go, so for the most part, I'm gonna try and keep this series daily. Yes, you heard me. Daily. We're trying to complete this as soon as possible. I'm not going for 100% completion, but I'm gonna try and do my best to complete the game as much as I can. Anyways, let's start, I guess. So here we are, we're Lucas, in our pajamas. So, um, I believe... Hold up. I messed up the button, or maybe not. Hold up. Oh, no, 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 we have to be in our, um, clothes or whatever. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead. Lucas, Plus has been up for a while, playing with the Dragos. Okay. Are you planning to go play in your pajamas? Let's get upstairs and change your clothes. Um, no. <laughs> Screw you, Mom. You can stay inside in your pajamas for the rest of your- Jesus, Mom, way to guilt me. <laughs> or should I say Hinawa? Or Hinawa. I don't know. People people say it very differently. I prefer Hinawa. I don't know why. That's just how I prefer to say it. Maybe there's a completely different way to say it that's actually the correct way. But for the most part, whatever, it doesn't matter. So here's a little secret. Um, first off, if you're not aware, hold B for like for like a second or two to be in like this stance, and then like go to run. Ow, I surrender, I surrender! And she gives you nut bread at the beginning. But uh, yeah, that's how you run. You hold and you let go. That's, that's how you do that. That's a very- it's very different compared to what I'm used to, but it's a nice mechanic nonetheless. It feels more realistic in a sort of sense, you know? So here we are! Alex's- Alex home. Dear God, that's- that's kind of weird to say, honestly, but, uh... There's no real place to go. I guess we just explore around and see what we got to do. Oh, I love this theme. <laughs> I love how it has the main, basically like the main melody of the game, which is the love theme. Like, there are a lot of parts in the game that have the same sort of melody and stuff of the love theme, and I, first off, I have to say that's one of my best, one of my best, one of my favorite themes of just about any game, alongside, um, A Link to the Past's Fairy Fountain theme, but I'm getting off track. Anyways, there are, ant at, there are ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on one, so please don't continue in that direction. <sighs> Of course, Lucas has to be in goody two shoes. We have to go the other right, the other direction. Oh, hi, frog! Hi there. A story. A story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories, and in turn become memories themselves. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This frog is getting a bit deep, don't you think? <laughs> if you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please tell us, frogs, your memories of everything so far. That's what people refer to as saving. Now then. Up, uh, save your game? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, um, I'm gonna save over this. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. That might have been spoilers, but sh don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Anyways... Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Okay. So I believe we just head on over here. And here we got, uh, what's his face? Klaus! Messing around with the dragos. They're like this uh, T Rex type of creature, you know? Also, one thing I'm gonna try my hardest to do is not speed up during this series. If I do it sometimes here and there, my bad, but I'm gonna try my hardest not to. Anyways, <sighs> who I'm beat? I've been play fighting with the dragos all morning. You should play too, Lucas. Uh, that's not an answer to the question, but okay. Wait, there wasn't even a question. Here, try ramming into the Drago. Klaus! Lucas does, still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. Let's see, I just rammed into Mom's chair and got nut bread. What are you talking about, Alec? Lucas! Try to imagine a thing called a B button. And then hold that B button for a second, then let go. Doing this will let you dash. And by using this dash ability, you can ram into the Drago there. Klaus, show him an example. 
I already explained this game. I'm a better explainer than you, so just, just stop all your head, honestly. Honestly, I'm gonna love this series. I just already know I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of this series. Recording it, editing it, that sort of stuff. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be making these videos. I'm gonna try and make them around 20 ish minutes or so that's like my standard now basically i might make some longer some shorter depends on whatever but anyways now it's your turn lucas give it a try all right so let's uh you never succeed with such a sullen look on your face that holds true for anything just relax okay so let's back up because you know we're gonna just all right all right is this drag already is this drag already okay 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 i don't think it's ready but Oh no! Boom. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Is that good enough? Yeah, let's just ram into you some more. Oh. <laughs> that it? Oh, you you, you still want to get random some more? Okay. Boom. Oh, ooh, take that. H how much? How much more do we have to ram into you? Jeez. I love how these guys are all like really well designed and then you have the baby dragon which is just like one one pixel is his eye. <laughs> how how much longer are we gonna do this? Well, what do you gotta say? Oh, oh there we go. What's going on, what? I can't just sit idly while I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you. Get in my way and, in and you're in for a world of pain. And we got our first fight for the game, all right. We encountered the mole crickets. Okay, so I guess I may as well explain this for those who are not aware. The game is a, simp is a RPG game. However, there are some elements that make this quite a lot different to other RPGs. What? Mother 3 has compared to let's say Earthbound and most and most of the meh, most other RPGs out there is that it has a rhythm based combo system. I don't know if we can necessarily do that right now and I'm not too good at it currently. I'll progressively get better obviously as I go through the series. But um, that's what really sets this game apart from any of the other mother games as well as any of the other RPGs. And I don't know it makes it a lot more fun when you're not just like pressing a button do this do that. You can actually get into it, sort of learn the songs, and obviously, if there's a song you really enjoy in the game, you're gonna probably learn its its uh, rhythm immediately. And I don't know, I just really love it. So let's try here. Ah, uh, I was hoping. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on, dig it. I got like a two-hit combo there, but it didn't end up well. Okay. I didn't get one there, but whatever, it doesn't okay, there we go. As I was about to say, um, there's also the rolling HP counter. What that is, is, um, let's say you manage to beat a battle before all your HP stops rolling, then you won't die. First off, I really like that. And as well, you can also, if you manage to heal yourself before your health hits that zero and you die, then you don't die. It's great, honestly, it's really, really, I like it. Even though some may see it as like, oh, this makes the game too easy. It adds the sort of level of stress, which it's not like a bad stress, it's, it's a really good sort of stress. Cause it's like, okay, I need to make sure my HP is well kept, that sort of stuff. Anyways, let's let's end this battle. There we go, you won! I see you have more of a spine than I thought. If you'd like, I could train you personally sometimes. Next time we meet, it'll be a big mo it'll be at the big mole cricket hole stadium. What? I'm looking forward to seeing you there, bro. <laughs> uh, I love the writing in this game. I love the writing in like just about any of the mother games, honestly. They're so well written. I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's all right. Lunch is ready, everyone. I made your favorite boys omelets. Ooh, lunch, lunch, omelets. All right, Klaus, calm down. It's just omelets, dude. Jeez. Wait, hold up. It's lunch and they're eating omelets? I'm, I'm not gonna question it. Anyways, you too, Dad. Now then. 
Listen, folks. Here's how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome. You, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. I love the little, like, fourth wall breaking here and there. Hey, wait for me! You saved me some omelets too, I hope. It's your favorite food, Mom. Oh, omelets? Then your favorite is the same as ours? We make a good match. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids can make it here. Yeah, can make it here on their own. It, it's that safe. I bet even you could handle it, Lucas. <laughs> oh. Burn. Wait, why you gotta play with my man Lucas like that? Like, honestly. It's not cool. Dear Flint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled. But neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tazmilly Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in the air. The next time we visit, let's ask for one of let's ask of one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we could all come here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite omelets right away. With love, your dear Sanawa. And of course the game just decides to put its title just like after what? It's like 10 or so minutes like of gameplay. They're just like, oh yeah, did you know you're playing Mother 3? Well you are. Shit, <laughs> oh, okay. Okay! Um... Ugh, that does... Ooh. ooh, what? Okay, that... Okay, that doesn't look very safe now, does it? Chapter 1 Night of the Funeral <laughs> Oh my god
Flint! 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 It's a fire! 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 The sunshine forest is on fire in a huge fiery flamey fire! So here we are, we're playing as Flint now! Also, I never even mentioned, we have all this stuff here. Tells us our items. We can equip stuff here. There's our status, and then there's sleep. I don't remember what sleep does, but... Here's our cozy little house. You gotta do something quick! Flint! It's the forest! The forest! The forest! The forest is on fire! Jeez! Who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flint! Ah! The doorknob! Why'd you have to come off at a time like this? Ah! Doorknob! Uh, I mean Flint! There's no time to be dozing off! There's a huge fire in the sunshine forest! At times like this, call for reckless nice guys like you! Please come, Flint! Please! No. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding! <laughs> Alright, let's go! Thomas joined your party! Okay. I'll follow behind you! What? What's wrong with that? I happen to like following behind people! Alright, Thomas. <laughs> uh, let's let's talk to Boney real quick. Oh, we got a stick. Nice. Hey, Flint! Uh, oh, okay. He's, he's just telling us about, like, the fact that we can equip weapons and stuff. So, let's equip the stick. There we go! I don't believe we have anything secret or, like, anything hidden that we can get. We may as well talk to this frog real quick, though. Save your game? Of course, dude. Okay, as far as I know, I believe there is an item around here. Yes, that is the item. Should I get it right now? Sure, why not? Got some nut bread, okay. So I'm assuming we just head up here or something. But if I want to check if this is open. Okay, it's not. Just making sure, you know. Okay, so, first off, I'm gonna say, I already- I already know what to do in most parts of the game. I'm just gonna try and not spoil it, but I'm gonna say, I love this character, even though he's- <laughs> he's exactly as he sounds, so. If you need something from the map loving and map owning maps and it must be a map, yes? Please, feel free to take one with you. There we go! You're worried about Lighter's Shack deep inside the Sunshine Forest, yes? I've marked that area on the map for you. There we go! Please hurry and see if he needs help. Oh, whoops, silly me. I got to tell you how to check the map, didn't I? Check the map, you need to... How do I put this? Fill your right index finger with a wish, or strength. To put it more bluntly, I guess do something R button-ish? There we go, there's our map. So we have to go all the way up there. That's great. Anyways, though, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Sorry if it's like a cliff. I don't know why I said it like that. Like a cliffhanger sort of episode, but anyways, um, I'm happy. I, I'm happy that I've started this series now. I'm very, very excited for how it's gonna turn out. Um, but anyways, though, if you have enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you're really feeling it. That's gonna be it for this video. I shall see you guys next time. See ya!